and welcome back to Grandma Jane's World. Today it's a Memorial Day weekend and um, I'm celebrating it by baking some goodies to have with friends and family. And we're gonna have a good, great big meal for a change. I will have a meal that's decent. <laughs> Living alone is not fun cooking for oneself. So anyway, um, we honor our lost loved ones that served in the wars as well as the ones that served and came home. And uh, I salute them all because they, um, they did more than I think I could have ever done. So, but today I'm gonna make a rhubarb custard pie. It's one of my family's favorites and it's not very hard. First of all, I've got the oven preheated to 400 degrees and I made a double crust recipe, which is two cups flour, one teaspoon salt, two thirds cup Crisco or lard, and two, six to seven tablespoons of cold water. However, I end up using more. I use, I, I use enough to make it at a consistency that I can roll it out. You kind of know when it all kind of comes together and you can um, put flour on the table and roll it out. So I've got the pie crust here. I'm gonna put a lattice uh, top on it and we'll show you how to do it right now. Get you down where you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, first the recipe calls for two eggs, so I'll put those in the bowl. And my friend Dina gave me some rhubarb. I usually use fresh raw rhubarb, but this was frozen. I'm gonna try it, see how it turns out. I did drain the water off it, too. So, on two tablespoons flour, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half cups of sugar. Uh, one half cup milk. I did have whole milk left in the refrigerator for making a cheesecake. I don't, you don't have to use whole milk though. And then I just whisk this up. Whisk it all together. That's the custard part. And then I add my two cups of finely chopped rhubarb. And mix that in there as well. And then we'll be ready to pour it into the pie crust. really not much to this and it's so good if you like rhubarb i have a really good rhubarb cake recipe too that was my um grandmother-in-law's uh recipe and it is so delicious too it's got like a cinnamon crunchy top and it's real moist so i'm going to make that for you too okay then the next thing you do i do is i've cut out i've um rolled out i should say the other part of the crust and then you just place it across how it fits and kind of crimp the edges or the ends so it stays in place and keep doing that so you get one side all done Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I really miss my kids that are were at school. I had fifth through eighth grade study hall and would help them at times, you know, with if they needed if with studies and also just talk to them. And I just, I really got attached to them. So hopefully I will see some over the summer. Um, they were just super kids, really. And it was a fun experience, so. Anyway, I've got this side pretty much done. I think I will put a little strip on that end. And then what you do is you start doing the other way. This is not hard, you guys, it's so easy. And it just dresses it up, it looks really cool. You put the long ones and crimp the ends into the crust edges. This crust never fails me either, it's delicious. I really should try it with lard because they say lard is the flakiest, tenderest crust. But I really find this to be really good too and I use Crisco, so 
I, I remember mom making crust sometimes with oil too, which I think would be hard to do, but I've never tackled that one. And then you just continue and I'm almost done until you get to the point where it's covered. And then, whoops, what you do, whoops, I lost that one. Just cut another strip there. Um, what I like to do is take some milk and brush it over the top and then put some gourmet white sugar that I got at the Minute Night Bakery in Osage. Um, sprinkle that on the top and it kind of makes it glisten. It's really, it really gives it a cool effect. So here's my milk that I'm going to brush on. Try to get this covered up pretty good with milk. And then put some of this gourmet white sugar. It's, a little, it's bigger crystals, as you can see. Probably, you probably can't see it, but there uh, makes it kind of glisten when you get it baked. It adds a little sweetness too. And I'm going to pop this in the oven for 15 minutes at 400 degrees and then for 35 minutes at 350. And I'll be back to show you the end result in a minute. Bye. Hey, I'm back to show you the rhubarb custard pie. I'm going to cut into it and let you see how, doesn't it look fabulous? It really does. Uh, I haven't let it cool quite as much as I normally do because I got to get ready for a company. We're having pork chops today, fried rice, fruit, and rhubarb pie. So anyway, let's see how this set up. It's still hot. And... Oh my gosh. It looks pretty darn good. Mm -mm -mm. Still hot. And I'm gonna put a dip or two of ice cream on it. You can put whipped cream, you can put nothing, whatever, however you wanna do it. But there it is and it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> so anyway, have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and we'll see you again soon. I love you. Bye.